Hey everybody, good morning. One more day. Welcome to day 30 of World Carnivore Month, January yeah. the 30th, 2023. Michael's rocking his new seed oils or bullshit. Is this the first time you've worn it? It I is, think. yeah. It's brand new. Out of the... I started wearing mine a couple weeks ago. The, the weather, we got these nice t-shirts and then the weather got chilly in Florida. So um, we are going to take you along and show you everything we eat in a day for January the 30th of 2023. We're excited. Today is chiropractor day. Yes. That is where we're going to start um, in just a bit. The best so, yeah. day of the week is the best day, day you get week. realigned yeah. and readjusted. For me, it's been two I haven't for been you. for two weeks now and I... I'm actually starting to feel a little yeah. bit like I might be close to my age. So I cannot may, wait for her to put me back together. We're going to try to do a two for this week. When we get to Charlotte, we're going to see our favorite chiropractor also. So yeah. we're hoping to see, see chiropractors. We have twice. found the world's two best chiropractors <laughs> in existence. Yeah. They are not in competition with each other. They are completely different, but they are equal and they are yeah. both the best. And we feel yeah. so privileged to know them both. So we're going to go see our Florida chiropractor this morning. And hopefully get to see our North Carolina chiropractor later this week. Yeah, and okay. that ought to fix me after my three days in a row of working and <laughs> yeah. not getting an adjustment for 14 days. So we're going to take you along for Let's everything. Go. Let's go. Just ran through Starbucks. I uh, got a nitro cold brew. And I finally figured out how to ask for just heavy whipping cream in it. Um, I thought we had to ask for foam that was whipped for some reason. Um, because that's how someone had told me to that's ask how for some, it. Yeah. <clears throat> once upon a time so usually when I get to the Starbucks window and I'm trying to explain foam the sugar-free foam whipped I don't think it was very clear what I was trying to ask for so today I was Yesterday, just like can you yeah. put uh, heavy whipping cream in it and I don't care if they whip it or not just pour it in the cold brew and they're like sure we can do that so nitro cold brew with heavy whipping cream which is like the love of my life next to Michael these days I put it in everything <laughs> it I make it's great heavy cream is great and he wanted to show uh, show you where's oh yeah so I'm out I'm, I'm this is the last I only had a single scoop of my powder left so it's just a scoop of the um, the gourmet chocolate and two scoops of my collagen protein but um, I was telling Jules and um, this shirt is glowing almost by the way in the light that I'm going to kind of reassess as we move into February, and I haven't ordered any protein powder yet. Um, I know I've seen videos. Julie's told me about videos as far as fillers, and I I'm, I'm think I'm buying what the best, purest, you know, is, and and um, using only natural ingredients and not these artificial sweeteners. But I'm going to take a look at it again. Coming back home and starting my my food window with food is a little difficult for me but that could be another change that I might make in February but anyway I just wanted to say I've got that that's what I'm <clears> having so I'm not having any type of coffee this morning but I'm still a coffee addict I've said this a hundred times coffee is not carnivore um, some carnivores drink coffee I would say probably most of the carnivores don't <laughs> drink coffee Ken I, started with, with that video I was watching this morning with coffee I know Ken Berry we, yeah. Ken Berry was my first carnivore that I ever followed I'm not exactly sure if he lives a carnivore lifestyle or if he, if he's just having practiced I think he um, just be more keto and dealing a, with a lot of diabetics and people with blood sugar issues. But it's a great guy to follow. Though. But he was my first person in anywhere near the, the carnivore sphere that I started following a year or so ago. But anyway, I was going to say probably the majority of carnivores would say absolutely not to coffee. It's a bean. I don't know if it's considered a seed, or bean, bean. But, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> It has never caused me any problems. I have kicked coffee before and gone, I think, three or four years without drinking it. You did, it. when I first met you. When he first met me and then I slid back into the habit. You know, I think anyone who smokes would say they've quit a bunch of times. <laughs> I'm not really looking to quit the coffee habit right now um, because it doesn't seem to be causing me any issues in my life. And you're still living your best life, but so. But I... Um, I'm thinking that if I were to start having issues in my life, probably the first thing I would look at would be the coffee and would be probably the first thing I would eliminate if there came a time where I felt like I needed to try to eliminate okay. something for my life. So. I might have a, um, a heavier lunch since I only had one scoop of protein powder. And um, yeah, for me, um, Paul Saladino, Carnivore MD, is the first carnivore that I followed. So, anyway, that could be another conversation as we're wrapping up the month. But I was just thinking about that. Random thoughts on a Monday going to the chiropractor. But that's, um, yeah, that's what I had. And um, I'll show you my lunch. Did you show them your breakfast? Did you have breakfast? I didn't this have morning? breakfast this morning. Oh, yet. you only um, made Abra breakfast. I made, <laughs> we've started, uh, 
monitoring the protein intake we're giving our dog because I think we were overfeeding her a little. Uh, not, we weren't overfeeding her. Our diet. Our diet. We were overfeeding her our diet plus the recommended um, dry food, and she was eating more of it than I think she really needed. So we yeah. started paying a little closer attention to what she's eating. So I cooked Abra breakfast. It was an egg and three little pieces of cheese, which equaled about 10 grams of protein. She needs 20 to 25 a day, I think. I bet she um, loved it. She did. She loved it. But I didn't have time to make breakfast for myself. Oh, okay. So we're going to the chiropractor on an empty stomach and caffeinated. So Look out. We might. <laughs> so anyway, I will definitely bring you along for lunch whenever I make my meal. Nice. We're back from the chiropractor and we want a little bit of breakfast even though it's almost 11:30 in the morning so I'm gonna air fry four sausage patties and Michael's gonna make some hot dogs and uh, some cheese, cheese dogs actually cheese dogs cheese dogs these butterball sausages this is where it's at this is how Michael made his cheese wrapped hot dogs in the oven <laughs> is it good lighting can you see the gold brown on top <laughs> Yeah, and it's just it's the uh, same pizza, uh, or sorry, the same cheese we use for the pizzas. Uh -huh. I just wrapped them up, broiled them for like three minutes. And that's how they brown. turned out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't wait to see how. Having my lunch here, finishing up here, Joe. Can you see? I ate them pretty fast. I'm uh -huh. hungry today. My little cheese dogs and some some raw cheese. So I'm thinking, <clears throat> excuse me, for dinner this evening. I wanted to change it up again. Um, have I had chicken this entire month? Maybe I don't once? think you I'm have. I'm not sure. Much different story last year when we started this. I, I was trying to substitute chicken with everything, but I'm going to try something different today. I've got six boiled eggs, whole eggs, and I typically um, in the past would do a keto egg salad just when I wasn't doing anything uh, with some sour cream and mustard or a little bit of the keto mayo, the, the Primal Kitchen mayo. And so uh, we also have done a chicken salad that um, was animal-based, it had some fruit in it, but I thought, could I combine the two and make something palatable <laughs> for me to eat for dinner? This, uh, just so you know, guys, this is the only chicken that we can find in any of our stores down here that have no artificial ingredients. It is um the all natural bumblebee yep. the all natural bumblebee so that's what i'm going to use as my chicken mm -hmm. okay my wet ingredients are going to be the same mustard seed primal, oil free mm -hmm, our primal kitchen mayo a little bit of sour cream because i like the tanginess we don't do pickle relish in this house it's absolutely nasty i am going to take some of these pickles though or i might just take a little bit of the pickle juice i'm not sure yet Put that in there with these six eggs that are already in our mixing bowl. See what kind of something we can make up with, uh, uh, or make up yeah. to eat this evening. And, and I'll let you know when uh, when we have our dinner, did it <laughs> turn out good, bad, or ugly? How was your cheese dog? It was good. Mm -hmm. Not as good as the pizzas, because that kind of clicks a pleasure center, you know, because it's crispy pepperoni, and that, that that's the only thing I'm getting for pizza right now. But they, it was good. I'm glad um, I had a little bit more protein for lunch and supplemented the morning shake with a little bit more meat and cheese for, for protein. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do for dinner. I'll probably add some sausage or some bacon. Hell, I even thought about making bacon and putting it in the chicken salad. I'm not sure if I'll do that, chicken egg, chicken egg salad. And um, yeah, see what else we get for, uh, for dinner this evening. All right, so um, finishing up our chicken dip, chicken, I don't what do you wanna call it? Chicken egg salad. Egg chicken salad. Egg chicken salad. <laughs> so we had six whole eggs boiled. One can, I think we had two on the counter. One can, eight ounce chicken. Um, I used our keto mayo, which I put back in the fridge already. Two tablespoons of mustard. The mayo was, the mayo was two tablespoons. Sour cream was two tablespoons. The mustard was two tablespoons. So really, you have a, a two to one ratio of dairy to mustard, and that's how I like it. Um, it's not uh, too wet in here. 
I had a handful, I, I don't really know, a handful of pickles that I chopped up. And then of course we had sea salt and I did add a little bit of black pepper. And that's all that's in this. Um, I've tried it, I like it. I'm going to definitely be eating this. I made the egg salad first thinking I might ruin this by having the chicken, but it actually turned out very well. Um, I was just asking Julie before she started videoing, it needs to be seasoned a little more. But um, I'm gonna want some of that too. We typically under season when we make the salad because what we end up doing salad, what we end up doing is putting it in the fridge and as those flavors kind of come together for a few hours, it actually brings everything out a little bit more. So if we say it needs a little bit more salt then we know that we should cut it off there, it needed a lot more salt a second ago. But um, that chicken, I rinse off very well and crumble it with my hands. So it is, it's very thin, um, almost stringy. I don't even know if you can pick out the chicken. I mean, maybe right here in the, uh, in the salad. Mm -hmm. And so it really needs some seasoning, right? Mm -hmm. Because we, set, we saw it was just water and chicken um, in there. So we're gonna finish this up. I'll put it in a small container, stick it in the fridge. It's what, it's not one o'clock yet, it's 12.52. We probably, again, won't eat for another four to five hours. So we'll let that kind of- We always say that, and then we end up eating a little earlier than we think we will. <laughs> it's usually me nudging Julie. To, Saying, I'm hungry, let's eat. go. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. That'll be my main, at least my main, um, what do you want to say that? My main dish, if you will, for dinner tonight with, uh, with some sides, which mm -hmm. I think will be bacon and sausage, maybe both. I might be doing both tonight. We shall see. As unappealing as this looks, this is gonna be my dinner. We just started fixing food, it's 3.45, so we are eating a little earlier than I think we thought we would. This is the beef broth with some, just a little bit of leftover um, hamburger meat in it that I've been eating on for the last few days. And then today, overnight, I actually made bone broth. So this is some of the shredded bone off of the vertebrae that I, or ribs? Ribs, ribs yeah. Ribs that I made bone broth with. Short so. ribs beef broth and hamburger, bone broth, and short rib meat. So that's what I'm eating. I just went ahead and put them in bowls and then I will um, heat this up whenever Michael's done cooking. And that's the chicken yeah. so it's salad been in the egg salad. It's fridge for what? A little over, almost three hours. Yeah. So it's set up nicely. And the okay. only thing that I'm really gonna have, I mean, I'm gonna have cheese, but I'm gonna make <laughs> these things I am You're gonna make all those? Was that 12 of them? <laughs> uh, ten, uh, 10. 10, okay. 10 of these and then warm up the rest of the queso we have because with us leaving um, Wednesday morning for Charlotte, yep. we're trying to, again, kind of not eat, eat anything the fridge, that, but uh, eat Eat anything that's been opened been and open. not completed exactly. yet. Exactly. Yeah. And over here we got Abra's little bowl of food <laughs> <laughs> where we're just throwing scrappies of stuff that we don't want that she can have. She's gotten some of the meat out of my bone broth so far. Here we have it. Not as big of a spread as it was yesterday with so much randomness. But uh, today, again, we've got 10 sausage links. Nope, I count 12. <laughs> Seriously? Yep. Oh my goodness, I thought they were packs of 10. <laughs> I apologize, everyone. Um, mm -hmm. Our egg, chicken salad, raw cheese. I brought some pickles. The Gordo's leftover, hiding yeah. over here. The queso, another 32 ounces of water. Jules has her rendered beef broth. Bone broth, short rib, broth. beef broth, the hamburger meat. Yeah, <laughs> and the salt, because I'm not entirely sure that I salted both of these to my taste. So. Oh, okay. That's it. That's dinner for us and today. And 32 ounces of water for her. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, go. Definite, definite um, food Wee. being put on rotation. <laughs> Setting in the fridge, 
and let it all come together, it's it's great. It's great. You've not tried it yet. I haven't tried it yet. But it is I'm really, over here salting all my soups. Really good. <laughs> yeah. I just had we had to stop. I had to take a break so that I could get this um, first thoughts on uh, on camera. Really good. Six thirty kombucha time. It is another day in the books. Dinner was great. Dinner was really good. Really, really good. Julie I, just had beef soup. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Two different kinds of beef 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 broth and bone broth. It was delicious. It was really, really good. Um, so there isn't really much to say about kombucha. Thirty days in a row of us saying here it is. It's yep. six thirty at night. And we Julie's. drink this. <laughs> this, this is, is my kombucha. homemade that I uh, think I used apple juice. Pretty sure I flavored it with a sh apple juice. I, had I think no, you're right. No sugar added. So. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap this video up. Tomorrow is January 31st. That is Michael's birthday. Somebody's waking up a year older. This whole month we had planned to eat birthday cake and go out for pizza on his birthday, but plans have changed. Nope. We are actually going to have one more day of, ooh, sorry about my hand there. <laughs> we're gonna have one more day of strict eating um, before we go off to North Carolina on February 1st. So unsure if we're gonna vlog what we eat while we're traveling, but um, we're gonna have a 31st I, uh, day of World Carnivore Month. I told Jules I would like to try to get some photos if we do end up, up cheating with our friends, but we don't want to impose on our friends either. So, But we found out today we think we're going back a second time mm -hmm. in February to um, Charlotte. So again, that was kind of another driver for me to just say, I'm not going to worry about tomorrow. We may go out and have dinner, but it's going to be a clean dinner just like it was last weekend. And we'll worry about Charlotte when we get to mm -hmm. Charlotte. That's, that's really, that's all that's important to me. So, Well, happy World Carnivore Day. This Hope is day 30 in a row of pretty, pretty. It's crazy. The month has flown by, know, it really but it has. has also felt long and tedious at some point. It's, at some it's point. a little tedious having to film every single thing we eat. Um, it's easy to, to to feel like you're about to forget. and then, Yeah, uh, that's true. Or just want to eat, right? You're just so hungry and you're like, no, we've not filmed it yet. But yeah. we hope it's helped you. We've enjoyed sharing um, everything we eat because this is kind of typical for us. Maybe not quite this strict, but this is how we do eat on a regular basis. And we've had a really good time sharing it with the community. And we found some new if things. If anyone is looking tried. for some carnivore friends or some carnivore inspo, you're always welcome on our channel. We would love to get to know you better. For sure. And see what you eat and see how you live your life as a carnivore. So, hope you had a good Monday. Yeah. Hope you are hope having a great world carnivore like month. We have. We've got one more to go. Mm -hmm. We'll see you again in the morning. And that'll be World Carnival Month in the books. Have a good night, guys. Bye, guys.